In this tutorial, we will show you about code HLMS search. With this new feature, now a borrower can issue or return books on their own. The borrower doesn't need to involve any librarian to issue or return or reserve any books. Let's see how you can do it. After installation of Kodichi LMS Search, you will see this login form. Two things required here. First user ID, and second one is password. Here you need to set your password first. Click here. Enter borrower ID user ID will automatically be created. Now enter your registered email ID now enter a password and confirm the password. Now click on the save button. Now enter your user ID and password then click on login button. You can see borrower ID and borrower name already appeared. Now select the item category from the drop down menu like I select books. From item search by drop down menu select any option, like I will select title. Now enter the title of the book. Then click on the search button. Now you can see the details of the book on the dashboard. If you want to issue the book, right click on it. You can do three things here issue item, reserve item, and ready books, if available. I will select the issue item. Item issued successfully pop up appears. As you can see, this row marked with red color, that means this item has been already issued to someone. You can see the expected return date here. Borrower has to return this book within this date or fine will be calculated after that. To return any book click on view history menu. You can see all your items from here. If you want to return or reissue any book click on the checkbox and click on return or reissue button. Like I want to return this book so I will click on the return book button. One more thing here suppose any borrower had some fine for any item, the borrower cannot return the book by his or her own, the software will tell him or her to contact librarian. If the user need to change password then click on the change password menu here you need to enter your old password, then enter new password and confirm the password that's it. Click on the change button. As you can see a setting menu which is disabled. Only librarian can have the access of this menu. After that you can log out from here. That's all about this tutorial. If you have any query or suggestion then comment below.